Hello. Okay, check. My last tutorial I did and or well, technically there's a tutorial that covers exactly this, but apparently it wasn't picking up my mic. So, woo. Uh, or it was only half the time. So this is a tutorial on restream the chat. I think you may need an account to make use of it, but otherwise you don't actually have to stream to restream. I choose to because I like streaming to YouTube and Twitch, and I'm not partnered to either, so I can do that. Uh, if you're a Twitch partner, you can't stream to YouTube. If you're a YouTube partner, you can't stream to Twitch, that kind of thing, as far as gaming goes. Uh, you know, And I'm not a part of that at this point, so I can do both, and I prefer doing both, personally. It's more fun. Um, but from here, you would sign in, make an account. It's really a basic thing, you know, like a name, an email, and a password. Pretty basic. Uh, I think it starts with the dashboard view if you wanted to use Restream. If you don't, and you are fine just streaming to Twitch or to YouTube, one channel, whatever, uh, you would go here, go to chat. It's got its automated. This is kind of what it looks like. Constantly running. Ignore that. Uh, this, for example, is YouTube. I can't remember what that icon is. Hitbox, Twitch. Maybe YouTube Gaming, or I don't even know. You click download, it downloads this. And it's like less than a megabyte, so it should be really, really fast. Um, and I'm not gonna show you the installation process. I think it's pretty pretty straightforward. There shouldn't be too much issue of any sort. Uh, so, get this screen out of there. And where is Restream? You would launch it, of course, once you've installed, and you'll be looking at something like that and of course you know I've already typed so that there's messages to see which uh, yeah right now I'm posting to both Twitch and YouTube when I type it's kind of annoying since I've got a push to talk button and normally you would never be doing this so you don't have to worry about a push to talk button but then you go up here to settings oops tossed it too far over Okay, so I think it would start at account. You would link up your account, and that's just basically so that you can post as yourself, as either, you know, in my case, shoot me dead on Twitch or shoot me dead on YouTube, and it's not just a random person posting kind of thing. And you'd go here, it'd be like, are you sure you want to allow or to connect your account to this, blah, blah. If it's pretty basic. There's nothing to worry about, really. Uh, you do it, you do it to whatever connections you're adding. In my case, just Twitch and YouTube. Um... And here's where you would in it embed your chat in the stream to get a chat on the, the left side of your screen over here. So I've already added it. Just make it visible so you can see it. It's got numerous different themes, uh, message alignments. I have it going from, you know, new messages at the top and then scrolling down. You could do it from the bottom scrolling up kind of thing. Message opacity, 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 whatever. Uh, so that if you wanted it to have a black background, you could. Um, I don't. And I, I had when I started with it, and if you watch some of my videos, there's just a square that's the size of this chat in the middle of the screen, and I didn't realize I had forgotten it open when I was just recording. So from now on, like, not streaming, but just recording a video. So from now on, I just kind of leave it with an uh, <laughs> invisible background. Alright, and then... Oh, scale, that's of course for sizing purposes. I've got it at that, you can use it as whatever. On my screen, I think it looks better as this, but I'm using 1600 by 900, so for your screens, it could be different, who knows. And then hide message after I have it at four minutes, because you know, I, if you've watched my channels and my videos and my streams and stuff, I tend to go on rants now and again, or if like, because I do a lot of question and answer streams, you know, in the middle of combat, I'll be talking about whatever the question is, and then get shot at and like, oh crap, and then, you know, you get distracted and you're like, what was I talking about? Um, and having it there makes it so that I know what I had been chatting about, and also they, whoever new people show up and it's just like, holy crap, rant, what's, he got? what's the context of this answer? Uh, they have at least some idea. So I use about f three to four minutes, I think it's four minutes right now. And you would copy, when you're done with this, you would copy uh, the URL and go over to OBS. So let's get this out of the way. OBS is a pain in the ass sometimes because it doesn't always pick up my mic. So, or pick up my mic like when I'm clicking on it. Like right now I'm talking, but if I click on, well, of course you can't hear me, but I immediately dropped my volume. 
Uh, you can see the slider here. That's me talking. This is someone else. You're not going to hear. Uh, but here you would go right click. And default, of course, opens to OBS project. You would copy. I wasn't picking up a mic. Anyways, that's the restream chat. And you can see this chat's ready to display messages, so I'm going to type again. Test, test, boop, boop. Okay, you can see the chat here, and you can also see it down there in the bottom corner, so let's get this out of the way. And you know, you could move the chat around your screen, resize it as you so choose. I don't need two chats. This was just a test example. So let's shut that off. But yeah, there you have it. And uh, that's, of course, the browser is over here. I have it on my second monitor because I don't need to have it on my first monitor. Uh, but that would show up the chat for people that are watching your stream. If anyone is just sitting in my Twitch chat, they're going to be like, why are there so many lines? But uh, that's that. And you can set it up and customize it as you see fit, of course. But uh, I find this really good. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't take up too much, just almost any system resources. And uh, it hasn't failed me yet. Whereas doing like the... Uh, window capture of just the pop-out chat now and again I'll forget and it'll suddenly start showing you know like it hasn't shown Facebook yet but I know sometime it will but it may show like me browsing Google or whatever I don't like that even you know I don't uh, yeah I like my privacy I don't want to suddenly be like oh I like I've seen some people use it, the uh, window capture and suddenly they start like browsing Facebook in another tab and instead of chat you're now looking at their Facebook page and you're like Oh, that's what that person's name is. And I'm like, oh, God, no. And I saw that. And so from that point on, I was like, OK, I'm going to find some sort of program that works for chat. And that's what I got. Now I'm going to stop posting flags in my chat and just call it here. Thank you for watching. This has been how, uh, just a basic how to set up restream with OBS kind of thing. Uh, I don't believe you need. I mean, I'm not streaming right now, of course. So you can use this chat without actually streaming to restream. Uh, I, of course, do that because I stream to both YouTube and Twitch. Not everyone does that. So thank you for watching, and uh, questions, comments? Uh, you know, I kind of definitely probably missed whatever someone's wanting to know, so please feel free to leave that uh, in the comments area, and thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. I personally like the Restream chat. You know, I'll support it, whatever. I don't pay anything for it. It's free. Uh, you could choose to pay for Restream, but I, I, I don't need to. So why do I? So there you go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.